Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to prepare uh, one tutorial about the one of the most important application which you can use for calculation, for making the graph, for interpolation, for finding the area. Uh, and the program is uh, the MathCAD. This program is like other programs which you are using for calculation like Excel. You can use for uh, your calculations, but the difference between this program and the Excel and the other program is you can see your formula, your equation, your graph. No need to open another, another sheet. Uh, let me show you one example. See, here you can see the whole, for example, unknowns in the Excel. You cannot see like this. Uh, here you can see your unknowns, for example, with a unit. And then you can see your, you can write your formulas. It's more comprehensible and your result. Even you can make the graph for your, uh, for your uh, answer. And you can use the vector. It's very, very useful and beneficial, especially for engineers. That's why I am strongly recommend all the students, especially the engineers who they are studying the fluid mechanics, the statics for solving any problems, you can use the MATCAD. So in these those tutorials, it's like a course, we are trying to prepare some uh, videos or some tutorials about the MATCAD. And in the first tutorial, uh, we will try to give an introduction about the MATCAD. And in the next tutorials, if you want to be an expert of using the MATCAD for for making the plot, for interpolation, for finding the area, for finding the value of x and y. Any calculation, please sub subscribe our channel and be with us. And finally, you will be uh, understand how you can use the MathCAD, and it will uh, it's really it will be useful for you. And in the beginning, I'm trying to give an introduction about the MathCAD, about these toolbars generally. Okay. In the first one, uh, let's talk about these toolbars. In the file, we have the new, you can uh, open the new window, and in the open, you can find, you can open the, your previous calculation, which you have done yet, and you can close, save as, these are, this, uh, uh, are clear. The view are clear, you can add any toolbar you want, it is are the same. Insert, you can insert the data or the matrix, in the format is important to to understand because in the equation and the result in the equation is not so important but in the format of the result is important because some uh, lecturers they will oblige you to uh, to give them answer with the decimal or general or scientific numbers that's why it's very important even you can increase the number of digit which you want and if you change in the format, it will apply for the whole calculation. And tool and symbolic is not so important for calculation, but the window is very important. Why? Because sometimes you have two different, for example, now we have three different window. If you want to see uh, all of them at the same time, you can see either horizontal or vertical. See, all of them are clear and easily. For example, if you want to copy one equation here easily you can copy from this this window to another window okay that's why the, this one is important and uh, here uh, you can use this one for zoom in or zoom out for example 150 100 usually 150 is more uh, visible and understandable and the others function, all of them are clear here, and you will be uh, understand at most of them while you are using the MathCAD for calculation. And here you can add the calculator, for example, sine, cosine, and changing the font size and using uh, these toolbars, for example, for creating the functions or the for calculation. So let's start from the beginning about how we can use for finding the x or the y value. Okay, for example, uh, 
in the easiest one for example if you want if you define the value of x but for example it's equal to 3 let's zoom out to make more clear we have defined it uh, x as a th 3 okay now whenever you write the x immediately it will give you 3 okay but be careful okay this is very important if you again if you want to define the value of x you should use this one again you can define for example by 4 if you press if you press x below this one again which you define you have defined it it will give you 4 but if you press x above this one it will give you 3 that's why it's very important uh, in your calculation for example uh, never ever do not forget how you define it, your functions okay let's delete this if simply if you write 4 minus the x it will give you the result okay another uh, function you can use mathcat if you use for for example if you have the fx fx we will define it you can use this one for defining your function for example 3x minus 4 if you want to find the va the fx value okay easily you can find it by using solve function here as i told you earlier you can you can use solve function immediately uh, see uh, as you can see here you cannot it it cannot solve for you it will not give you the result why because we already defined the value of x above here right so just just delete this one remove or drop uh, draw uh, drop it to the below your function immediately it will give you the value of fx that's why you should be you should know how the mathcad is working that's why never ever do not use the same value before defining it okay you should define it again then you can use an, uh, another time that uh, value or that variables okay so this was uh, an introduction about the mathcad and how you can use it for uh, solving the fx value x or y you, it, it's the same and how you can uh, use these two functions these two uh, icons in the next following uh, tutorials we will try to uh, find area area above the the curve by using the mathcad and about the interpolation how you can find how you can do the interpolation by using the uh, the mathcad and how you can make the most important one how you can make the the graph uh, as you can see here you can make the graph see you can do all this calculation in 10 minutes by using the mathcad you can make your graph for comparison between two variables that's why uh, if you want to know about more about the mathcad please subscribe us and support us by subscribing our channel uh the next following video we will try to give or to go through in detail in the mathcat